In this video, I will explain some basic circle-related vocabulary. Pay special attention to the symbols that are above the letters. So um, there's a difference between problem number two and three, for example. They both involve CD, but uh, problem number three has a segment symbol over the top, while line CD has a line symbol over the top. And that symbol on the top is the only way you will know which one you're being asked for. So focus on that. All right, so uh, anyway, problem number one, this has a line symbol on the top, so we're talking about line BC. So the line that goes through B and C is the line that looks like this. All right, here is line BC. Notice how this line barely skims past the circle, touching at a single point. So a line, uh, a line like this is a tangent line. So that's the vocabulary word that we are shooting for, tangent line. All right, now on the other hand, oh, while we're at it, um, notice that the point at which the line touches is point C. That's why, skipping down to number five, point C is the point of tangency. Okay, now compare this to line uh, CD, all right? Line BC just touches the circle at one point, but on the other hand, uh, line CD cuts through the interior of the circle like this. So that is called a secant line. When it cuts through the interior of the circle, that is a secant line. Okay, now um, the only difference between that and problem number three is that instead of a line that goes forever in both directions, um, problem number three is a segment. This is segment CD, so it begins and ends right here on the circle. So a segment like this is called a chord. So that is a chord. Now, technically, problem number four is also a chord. It's just that there is a more specific name for it. Um, segment DE is uh, also a segment that begins and ends on the circle. However, because it passes through the center of the circle, that makes it a very specific special chord called the diameter. All right, the diameter of the circle is a chord that passes through the center. Let me see what my daughter is texting me, me about. All right, looking down at problem number six, this is the arc symbol. So this is arc CD. Um, now, an arc is part of a circle, so you do have to ask yourself which direction we are actually talking about. So in other words, uh, we have to go from C to D, but how do we know if we are supposed to go the long way around the circle from C to D, or whether or not we are supposed to go the short way around the circle from C to D? Well, if there are only two letters, you're automatically supposed to go the short way. Um, so anyway, so uh, the short way is called a minor arc. So this will be minor arc as the vocabulary word, minor arc. Okay, if we go the long way, it will, will be a major arc. Now, just because there are three letters does not mean it's a major arc, so let's pay attention. So arc ECD goes from E to C to D in that order. So I need to go from arc E 
Um, hold on, let me make this a little bit bolder. I need to go from E through C and then end up at D. Well, um, notice how this arc begins and ends on the diameter. This is exactly half of a circle. So this is a special arc called a semicircle. Okay, semi as a prefix means half. So of course, semicircle means half of a circle. Okay, now problem number eight. Let's glance at arc um, EDC. So that means that we have to start at point E and pass through point D before we arrive at point C. So this is an arc that is bigger than a semicircle. It's more than 180 degrees. Um, that makes it a major arc. So that is some basic circle vocabulary to get us started.